And now Zach Grinke takes them out today, making start number three. In his last start, he, he didn't really have his good stuff, but he made some adjustments as he goes along, and we'll hear Goldie report on that later. Now Zach brings it home. The runner goes, and a line shot caught by Mondesi. That will go for a double hang as Correa was right at second base, and after Mondesi made the catch, he just simply tagged Correa. As the Royals get a look at right-hander Jill Ryan for the first time. He was Minnesota's opening day starter. Leave him alone and watch him pitch. Strike three call, then a fastball in 93, and Lopez strikes out for the second time. To know with two on, nobody out. High fly ball into right center field, playable. Should be deep enough as Taylor makes the catch in right center. Urshela will tag and he will score. Throw comes back in near second base. And Sanoa drives in his third run. A sack fly to right center. And the Twins take a 1 0 lead. In the home second, the windup and the 3 2 pitch. He struck him out swinging on a fastball at 93. And that's the inning. So Ryan perfect through two. He has fan two. Twins are batting top three. We'll bring up Correa. There goes Gordon, and it's going to be hit to Nicky, who's on the bag. Double play. Wow. That's double play number five behind Grinky this year. I mean, Grinky's such a good fielder, he's wondering how come he didn't catch it, but he didn't need to. Well, we'll see if Michael A. Taylor can be the first to reach against Joe Ryan. There's a base hit into right field. Watch how he did this. I mean, he, he made that look really easy. But obviously he, he wasn't looking out there, but he just was able to hold on to his swing on the slider. So Taylor at first, two down, three one count, and the pitch a swing and a pop up. Infield playable near third. Urshela battling the sun. Here comes Correa to back him up, but Urshela makes the call and the catch. And Lopez slams down the helmet, frustrated. Kepler runs, and Sano takes a call, third strike. That is strikeout number two all season for Grinke. Two and two to Benintendi. There's a drive by Benintendi to right field and deep. Kepler going back, still going back, and that's off the fence. Benny to second base, not stopping there, racing to third. Here's the throw, not in time. That's a triple for Andrew Benintendi. It looked like that that ball might get out of the, here the way Benny hit it and he thought so too and he kind of watched it for a moment but that wind that has been crossing over right to left really knocked it down so now the tying run is just 90 feet away. Twins have the infield in for Salvador Perez big pop up very short center field Gordon coming in Ben and setting up for a tag here comes the runner here comes the throw on oh, target and they got him. Mick Gordon with a perfect one hop strike from center field. Nice play by the center fielder Nick Gordon. A one hopper right to Jeffers and nails a speedy Benatendi. Good play all around by Jeffers and Gordon. Who needs Buxton at center? Through four, still twins one. Kansas City nothing. And Correa lines it to center field. Taylor is there going down into a crouch on that. Sinking liner. Let's see if Correa and Grinky have anything to say to one another about that swing and that bat. And Ryan strikes him out on three pitches, two down. A good fastball and then two really nice sliders. This one that finishes him off, perfect. Runner goes. Ryan steps off. Throw back to first, and he's going to be out at first. Whoa, boy! Bobby Witt took off. Stopped. Ryan stepped off through back to first and no chance for Bobby Witt to get back. Rinky is done and Gabe Spire with some left hand batters coming up. We'll get the top of the sixth inning. Now ground ball. This could be two. Lopez gets it to Mondesi on the first double play. That is the sixth double play that the Royals have turned in this series. Over the inside corner, a call third strike. Fifth strikeout for Ryan in five and a third innings. Quality strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Jeffers slams his bat down on the dirt in the batter's box. Two down, bases empty. One ball, two strikes. Duran to Perez. And the pitch. He struck him out swinging as he went fishing on a breaking ball. Perez cannot hold back. Duran works a 1 2 3 7. 0 oh, 2 to Carlos Correa. Right hander against right hander. Swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball up. And you can hear to the delight of the crowd. Strike out victim number two of Clark. 
That's into right center field. That away. Junior will make the turn, and it's bobbled, and that's enough for a two-out double. Again, that's that's the second straight swing that he stayed inside the baseball. That's what he does. And just like that, the Royals have the tying run at second. Driven to right, right at Kepler. Inning over. A good one by Joe Smith. And Pagan so far showing signs that he's the same pitcher that was just outstanding for Tampa Bay back in 2019. Next pitch. He walked him. What does it we say? Recipe for disaster or Lead recipe off walk. for success. It's up to Andrew Benintendi. Pagan from the stretch and the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Correa there. Gloves behind second base. He throws the first and the Twins win the game one to nothing. Twins grab their first one run win all season long as Pagan picks up the team's first save. Some nail biting moments late but the Twins hang on and salvage one in this three game series defeating the Royals one to nothing.